Let's build a nice custom keyboard wrist rest today. Um, I have a friend of mine who, uh, who is also my co-worker. Um, she happens to own um, one of the popular keyboards uh, kit uh, for sale today. Um, this is the GMM GMMK Pro. <clears throat> Pretty nice hefty keyboard, uh, quite popular with the kits, uh, with, with the keyboard uh, kits that are on sale today. So uh, yeah, let's build a nice custom uh, wrist race for, um, you know, gaming and typing. So I know on the website they sell their own wooden keyboard uh, wrist rest, but you know, it's not quite large enough and it just looks plain. So let's just build something a little bit more comfortable and. Um, you know more personalized right so this is what I have um, it's basically um it's gonna be built with uh, several layers of uh, laser cut birch wood and on top we're gonna have a leather um, cover top layer which is gonna be stitched through the wood on the top layer using a pink um, Ritza uh, thread, so it matches her um, her keycaps uh, set that she has. So, yeah, that's what I have. It's gonna be cut. Uh, we're gonna have three of these and a layer of leather that's gonna be stitched through the top layer. The first two layers of wood won't have any holes, but the last one will. So, um, I think it's gonna look good, you know, and. Keyboard check, that's my Idobao 96. I'm running uh, <laughs> um, Everglide Aqua Kings. Nice and talky. So I am myself a keyboard enthusiast too. So this is solder all the way through. No hot swappable, so. And this is my uh, laser cut pour on uh, foam uh, wrist rest. Yeah, looks plain, but it does the job. So maybe in the future, I'll build something nice to match this keyboard. But for now, let's build that uh, wrist rest. So this is what I have. Um, this is LaserWorks. This is my uh, laser software. Uh, we're gonna engrave her name on the top uh, left and my uh, maker's mark on the bottom right so this is the layer of leather that goes on top and for the wood pieces they are going to be uh, stacked together to add the thickness of the wrist rest uh, it's going to just be plain uh, with no engraving because that's going to be on the lower layers right so let's head over to the laser and uh, cut this out all right i have a piece of uh four ounce leather load into my laser we're gonna cut the top layer and it's gonna be sewn into the wood just get a, get a quick track make sure nothing is hitting all the magnets are clear and we should be able to run it So we're cutting um, the top piece with the holes where the leather top is going to be sewn onto.
that after finish cutting all the pieces, I'm gluing the first two layers. Uh, this layer will be left for last because this is gonna be stitched up onto the top layer. So this is not gonna come off, you know, from, uh, from usage. So this is the thread of choice. Um, it is this nice little pastel pink um, Ritza one millimeter polyester thread. It's pretty good, pretty strong, and the color should match uh, her um, keycap sets uh, going with the theme, uh, the same color theme. So let's uh, let, let me just clean the edges here, burnish it. Uh, again, this is uh, four ounce, uh, four to five ounce uh, vegetable tan leather. A little rustic looking, but you know, it's gonna see a lot of use. Uh, you know who you are. So, yeah. Uh, let's uh, burnish uh, the edges here. Um, I already sanded this, uh, cleaned it up a little. We're gonna use a um, little bit of all here. Uh, burnishing cream. I got some in the model here, and uh, just like um, all the projects, you know, we're just gonna apply some and use my burnishing tool to seal the edges. So let me just do a little section here to show you guys. Right. Back and forth like this. Now let me set a little section here. Right. Take a canvas back. And just shine it up. So it goes from raw sealed and polished All right so let me do the rest of the edges here and uh, we'll come back for uh, for gluing all right now that everything is nicely burnished we are ready to glue the top layer of this leather onto the top layer of the wooden wrist rest so no uh, it's nice nice rustic thick leather it's gonna darken and patina with age, so it's gonna look nice. I went ahead also and uh, created a channel here to accept the thread. I want it to be recessed and flushed. So once we glue the layers, uh, it won't uh, create a gap. So what we're gonna do is um, use some uh, leather craft cement. Um, what I use is uh, Phoebe's uh, leather cement. So I'm gonna spread some of this glue the top layer and just uh, we'll come back in the morning for some stitching all right so this has been nicely glued into the um, onto the wood I applied uh, a light coat of wrestling you should protect it against you know sweat dirt and uh, you know your regular coffee spill <laughs> um, we just gonna let it dry for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna prepare the needles and the thread. And we're gonna stitch this all the way around. All right, let's stitch this up. Let's get my stitching horse over here. I like to stitch towards me, so I'm gonna face this on the far side. So I'm gonna start um, on uh, this corner right here. Clamp it down. Right there. I'm gonna go around. It's gonna take a while. I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so we finished uh, stitching the leather onto the birch wood. Came out super beautiful, super straight. The pink thread is really, um, really nice. The back also straight, falls into the channel. Right. We're gonna hammer down the stitches to make it even and we will glue it to the rest of the base All right guys, there we have it the wrist rest is finished it Looks beautiful the Stitching is super straight Again the top layer of uh, leather is uh, stitched onto the first layer of birch wood and the bottom looks clean because after 
the top layer of leather and the first layer of uh, wood are um, uh, glue and stitched together. Then the rest of the two layers are glue and um, set um, as a final product. So uh, it looks pretty good. The height is about 19 millimeters, so it should butt right against the GMMK Pro keyboard. Her name was right here. Maker's mark. Looks nice. I put two foam uh, friction pads here. Um, and they're very squishy. So gives it a nice little cushy feel as well as prevents it from moving on the desk. We'll see how this fits once we uh, meet her in a you'll see her uh, keyboard, so. Right, fits pretty good. That uh, fits perfectly, like. Yeah. yeah. Especially in like, the middle, it's like there's yeah. almost no seam. Yeah, it's beautiful. The stitching matches the pink also. Yeah, I love that, that's so cool. Yeah. All right.